Hi again everyone. This video is going to be my part one of my eBay haul. Now I've gone on a bit of a spending spree, although it really hasn't cost me all that money because all of this stuff is, as I've said, off eBay. A lot of it is either Korean or Asian makeup and there are also a lot of um, knockoffs, let us say, in here for some well-known brands, which I know aren't really the right thing to do in, by buying the knockoffs, but when you're like me and you're not very financial, let us say, and you really want to have something in your makeup that, you know, is a name brand, but you can't afford to actually go out and purchase the real thing, then, you know, in those sort of circumstances, all you can afford is the knockoff version. It's not something that, you know, I would say to people go out and do quality so a lot of people I've seen on YouTube have said is not the same as the the real product but as I've never actually tried the real products with this stuff there's no real difference for me as to if it is as good as the real product or not I'm not a makeup guru in any way shape or form I'm nothing special I enjoy doing my makeup occasionally more often than not, I don't wear makeup due to the fact I do have health issues. And some, you know, most of the time, it, I just can't be bothered really to do makeup. But recently, I have really been trying to make an effort with this. And when I do go out, whether it's, you know, down the street, shopping to an appointment, whatever it may be, you know, I have been trying to, you know, wear makeup out, do my hair nice and, you know, make an effort to hopefully try and make myself feel better as well as to look a bit better in the sense of, you know, doing my makeup nicely. Some of these, most of these products actually I have used or some of these products I should say I have used and, you know, I haven't been disappointed with them. Um, I will insert a picture in here that shows me using <clears throat> a couple of the products and when I get to those products I will tell you which ones I have on in this particular picture so yes you are actually going to get to see what I look like um, and I don't do that lightly as I am not a camera person I do not like pictures of myself hence why you do not see me on these videos this is something I am trying to work up to do. Um, I, as I've said, I do suffer from a fair few health issues and anxiety, etc. is one of those. So this is a step by doing these videos that I'm taking to try and overcome my anxiety and to work out and to work through some things. And um, I will get hopefully to the point that I will actually film my videos and with me in them but at this point it's just my hands that you will see and I do apologize for the state of my fingernails at the moment I am waiting for some new gel stuff to come which I have only ordered last night um, and so while that's happening I'm giving my nails a rest so they're not in a very good condition so please excuse that so anyway Enough of the rambling, I will get on with the haul. So to start with, the first thing that I'm going to grab is these masks. And I will move closer now. So these are just sheet masks. So this one is a pearl one. And this one here is to help dark skin to become bright giving vivacity to the skin. The next one I've got is the red ginseng and this one is helps smooth the surface of the skin 
and to moisturize and nourish it and it's also antioxidant and it's to help with aging the last facial mask is a collagen one and this one helps tired and rough skin and it makes it um, firmer and more elastic so I'll try those ones out shortly this is a toe or a nail separator this was actually a free gift with this next product that I purchased as it says I don't know if you can actually read that it's just a makeup palette to mix makeup um, and comes with a spatula these two products as you can see they're just tweezers and I got these tweezers to help when I do the nail art designs to be able to pick up the beads and that type of thing this product here is just some pretty pearly beads for the nail art this is actually a tooth whitening gel that you just apply to your teeth to try and help whiten it now this here is a knockoff it's the Cindy Lou highlighter and it's the Balm Cosmetics now I did try to wear this yesterday and I don't know if it was the brush that I was using but it didn't actually show up on my skin and that's the color there so I don't know how that compares to the real one but that actually took a bit for me to get any product out onto my fingers. This here is just a liquid latex that I ordered to help with um, when I do nail art or when I paint my nails. You, you paint it around the edge of your fingernails and that way if you go over onto your skin it doesn't actually stain your skin you just peel the liquid latex off afterwards this here is just a colored um, nail gel it's not open as you can see but it's a pink if you can see by the the writing there it's actually a pinky color this here is a um, korean product that i got okay so this is a bb pore silky balm and it is actually like a face primer and in the photo that I will insert in here, I did use this as a primer before I applied the makeup. It comes with the sponge and that's the product there. And it is a balm, basically. <laughs> it does feel nice on the skin, it makes it feel nice and smooth. It's not very silicony, but it just basically it just really gives your skin a nice smoothing effect before you apply the makeup so like I said that this product I'm actually wearing or have used in the picture that I will insert the next product I have here is the BB and it's a cream air cushion and it's extreme bare makeup and it's by Bio Aqua, which is a Korean brand of cosmetics, it comes with its own little cushion and then it comes with its seal, which I have used this. I am actually wearing this in the picture that I will insert. And the only problem that I found with this one is it is probably a bit too pale for me. So I've actually ordered a different one to and in a darker. The, darker shade um, the only thing that I've found with these air cushions is that some of the products you don't get very many options or you only really get two options as far as colors concerned and the pictures on there aren't always um, true to the color of the product but I did wear this and I just basically put on a face powder over the top that had a bit of color to it that made it um, a bit more to my skin tone but it was nice to wear it gave it uh, enough coverage to um, to be able to wear and um, without being too heavy or 
without being too light. It was just it was just a good coverage. I didn't mind it at all. This one here is um, it's watery tender double uses. It's a powder foundation. Now I actually brought this by mistake. I thought it was just a lightly tinted face powder. It comes with this cushion. It's actually a foundation at the bottom and then a powder on the top. So as you can see I have tried it out and the colour isn't too bad but I must say I haven't really given it much of a go with wear and then the powder on top. The powder on top is really nice. It's really silky. So, although, even though it was a mistake, I brought it in here with just a powder. I don't mind it. And we'll probably use it again. Okay, the next product I've got is called the Panda's Dream Brightening Eye Base. And I basically got this one because of the packaging. I thought it was really cute. And as it says, it is a brightening eye base. Now, this hadn't arrived when I'd done my makeup in the picture that I will insert. But I have since used it when it did arrive. And it does brighten up your under eye. It's basically just a white balm type product. So it's a primer, basically. But it does brighten up your eye area. Really, even if it didn't work, I wasn't going to be disappointed because, like I said, how cute is that packaging? So the next product I have is, again, an imitation product. And this is one of the Kylie products. And I've got the colour Candy K. Now when I ordered this, it said that it was actually meant to come with the lip liner. but it, So it was meant to be the actual kit, but the lip liner never arrived. So I did message the seller. And I must say, even though I only paid a couple of dollars for this product, after some backwards and forwards of communication over eBay, he did refund me half of the price of the product that I paid for because they did falsely advertise or they did advertise that it was the lip kit and um, I only received the lipstick. They gave me the option to send it back um, but I actually really like the lipstick and have been wearing it a fair bit. I've got this on in the picture that I'm going to insert and um, it's a really nice colour. It's a neutral colour. And that's it there, and it dries down matte. Um, it's not sticky, it's not drying on the lips. So I said to him that, you know, I don't want to send this product back, I want to keep the product. So that's why he ended up, re re um, he ended up refunding me the 50%. So like I said, I really like that product. And have been getting a lot of wear out of it. I've actually ordered some other colours last night. So this one here is a collagen crystal eye bag mask. And yeah, it's basically just a mask that you wear over your eyes. It smooths and whitens. So I'll give that a try. It's actually quite stiff. The next product is another fake product. And it is a Lime Crime Velveteens and I got mine in the colour Red Velvet and that's it there. Now, I've never actually seen the real one in real life but from what I've seen on pictures it's actually the packaging and things is is very very similar. I haven't used this colour yet, I haven't really been anywhere to um, wear a red lipstick but the colour is really nice, it's a nice blue based red and um, yeah, when I go somewhere that I'm able to wear this product, I'll um, give it a try out. And the last product in this haul 
is the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. And again, this is a fake product. But I got this because, you know, Too Faced, well, you know, it's a name brand. But also because I just love the packaging. And it's, um, it's a nice, um, I like the colours in it. I have worn this. Worn it a few times. They've got good um, good colour payoff. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how it compares to the original, but I've not had any dramas with it. I find that the colours go on really well and that they're really nice. And um, like I said, I've, I've worn this several times since I got it and um, I, I'm really happy with it. So I've actually got the other ones of these um, in my watch list on eBay. I'm just waiting to have this, the money to um, to be able to purchase them. Like I said, I don't know how it compares to the original, but you know, I'm I'm happy with what I've got. It doesn't have the chocolate smell, but you know, you can't expect it to have that with it only being a cheap knockoff. That is it as far as this eBay haul goes. Sorry it's such a long video. Um, it's nearly 25 minutes going by my time, but I'm hoping I'll be able to edit some of it out and make it a little bit shorter. So um, yeah, but that's the um, first eBay haul that I've got for you. I'll have another one coming you know, in maybe a month or so, depending on how long it takes for the latest lot of products to arrive. So thank you again for watching my video. I hope you all fit and healthy and um, if you do like my videos don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more of my videos or you want to be notified of when I put a new video up don't forget to subscribe I have five subscribers um, at this stage and you know I'm wrapped it's it's only five but hey I didn't even think I was going to get one so to those five people that have subscribed already you know I really appreciate your your support in what I'm doing and um, it is helping me to continue to put these videos out there so thank you everyone and we'll see you next time